started off well. Uh, the Zimbabweans uh, got runs off every bowler. There's massive sixes coming in. Runs coming in from all directions. A good starting opening stand by Murr and uh, Masakadza. And reverse sweeps too. Before uh, Dalit Zadran got better of Solomon Murr. A beautiful York. Then Mujib Zadran came into action. A simple catch there at deep. To get rid of... Uh, Masakadza, a, re a return catch by Navi. This was completely unexpected. Yeah, and that's where the game changed. Brendan Teller, set batsman, just walking back, and then some beautiful shots from Irvin, driving it through Catch the covers it. and uh, hitting it through the onside also. So, few shots uh, still before that, but there comes the river sweep, and that was good enough to, to undo the batsman's uh, presence there in the, in the centre, and getting some top edges flying. Uh, to the boundary ropes for sixes and then a beautiful delivery Rashid Khan once on always on continue to pick up wickets uh, giving nothing away to Zimbabwe batsman then bowling it googly to claim yet another wicket and uh, then just scooping it through the offside um, which was uh, dropped there on the boundary ropes Dablo Jadran dropping that catch and and then a lovely bouncer the batsman was taken by surprise a comfortable catch there on the boundary absolutely and once that was done it was sealed <laughs> Because that was Sikandar Raza who got out. Rashid Khan came back strong. Got his third over there. And uh, though some runs coming in late by Jarvis hitting those few fancy boundaries. This lovely straight hit. Smacking it. Till uh, this catch came through. It was uh, called in as uh, a not out. Because uh, the Empires felt it was... Uh, it touched the ground but not before this. And Rehmat Shah got one wicket. That was the second last wicket before Rajasthan came and cleaned it up. And that was the end of uh, the Zimbabwean innings.